Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, brothers and sisters, since the day is over, no one can say I'm influencing you to do what you wilt. And it being this particular day, whereby South Africans are headed to the polls to choose their elected officials, that which was fought for all those decades ago. Because once upon a time in this country, the black man and woman was not allowed to vote. You were not allowed to do anything. Since the advent of the new democracy, we have done what we can where we can. Yeah? And a lot more can be done. Since there is plenty of evidence to suggest not enough has been done. Primarily to empower the black man and woman when it comes to innovation. Recently, a story came across my timeline that I wish more South Africans knew beforehand, but it is what it is. I did what I could to share this clip on TikTok. A lot of people saw it. But either way, it's not like the people who are going to support a particular political party were going to not do so regardless. And again, the day is over, so let's discuss one of the primary things that drives my ambition. As a black South African. As you know, right next to, well, I suppose you don't know, but right next to the purpose of my channel, the primary reason of my black owned business is innovation, technological solutions to Africa's problems. And every now and again, we have fellow African brothers and sisters who come up with innovations. And depending on who you are and where you're from, you may face severe challenges trying to get your project off the ground you will come to find that international institutions have no intention of letting black folk innovate in situations that could easily displace Western corporations and their products. God forbid you have an African who comes up with African solutions for Africa, right? Right next to all of that, you have the historical effort by them folks, the system of white supremacy, eh? To keep hijacking black people innovations to prop up their own success. And give the illusion that black people are not capable of anything. While they came up with all the world's solutions. While they came up with the solutions to all the world's problems. When in reality, a good chunk of these ideas can be traced back to a black inventor at one point or another. Enter the topic of today's video. Without further ado... Unsolved tragedy strikes as black innovators' creation is stolen by them folks. Join the conversation. Today's story is about a traveling narrative that highlights the issue of intellectual property theft and the wiping off of black innovators in the world of design. Mm. Hello everyone, my name is Naledi Mfulwe and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the latest edition of the African Diaspora News Channel where we unravel the stories that shape our world and our communities. Today we dive deep into the currents of information from the pulse of politics to the heartbeat of entertainment. We've got it all covered so please stay tuned for a news experience like no other. Just two months after the tragic passing of South African inventor Ngozinati Ngomo, a South African Soweto-born student at the University of Cape Town was on the brink of revolutionizing water conservation with his company Aqua Renewa. Now his innovation water purification system aimed to combat Cape Town's severe water crisis which had plunged the city into a state of emergency. Now disturbing reports have emerged of a white industrial designer, Retief Krug, allegedly taking credit for Ngoma's groundbreaking work. Essentially what happens is it basically just takes water from your bathroom, uh, used water from your bathroom, so from your showers, your, um, uh, what's this, your basins, washing basins, your bathtub um, that used water and essentially what it does is it filters the water and then it basically uses that for irrigation to basically um, just help with reducing the amount of water that uh, households use or other places of business like uh, your, your B&Bs and everything. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah. 
Now this shocking act suddenly robs Ngomo of his rightful recognition but also perpetuates a long-standing pattern of exploitation mm -hmm, and marginalization mm -hmm. faced by black inventors and creators by the folks. Ngomo's contribution to the field of design were significant, yet his legacy is now at a risk of being overshadowed by Brooks' false claims. Now this is not just a case of intellectual property theft, it's a sharp <coughs> reminder of the systematic barriers faced by black innovators mm -hmm. in gaining recognition for their work. Now Ngomo's inventions were not just products of his innovation, they were born out of his lived experiences and the challenges he faced as a black inventor in a UCT student and inventor Nkosinati Ngomo mysteriously died last year. He died at just 24 years old after gaining attention from national media for his invention, a water purification system aimed at helping the drought crisis. Predominantly white industry. Now to see his work co-opted and his name erased is a profound... Mm, mm, mm. Congratulations, Retief Krug, or Retief Krug, the industrial designer who created Waterloo. A quick and easy way of using your shower water to flush your loo. Affordable too. MyWaterloo.co.za mm -hmm. When it's literally the same idea but different skin color. Hashtag Nkosina Tinkomo. Found betrayal of his legacy. Ngoma's mysterious death sent shockwaves through the nation, leaving many to question the circumstances surrounding his death. Mm, including and myself. now, just two months later, Redif Grich emerges with his own water recycling system, similar to Ngoma's aqua renewer. Mm. South Africans are rightfully furious, mm -hmm. questioning the timing of Grich's invention and whether he played a role in Goma's death. Now the parallels are too glaring to ignore and the outrage on social media is accepted. Some shared their thoughts on Twitter with one saying, how ironic my tweet co coincide with Helen Zillis. I have always maintained that the DA was involved. Mm -hmm. And another saying, this happens far too often. This is just not right. It's time to protect our own. Mm. We as their people need to stop this from ever happening again and bond together as one. Mm. As we mourn the loss of Ngosinati Ngomo and confront the injustice of, this, of his stolen work, let us not rest until the truth is brought to light and justice is served. He's as such, brothers and sisters, I shared this clip last night on TikTok and it is at 62k views so far and the comments are exactly as you would expect right people are furious black people never forget this face this is in Kosina Tinkoma a UCT student who invented the water saving system and mysteriously fell from a high building and died in Cape Town. Today, a white owned company has invented the same system, and the DA is celebrating that person. How ironic my tweet coincides with Helen Zillas. I have always maintained that the DA was involved. Former DA leader Tony Leon is being paid 658,000 Rand for providing Cape Town with strategic advice to improve the city's drought crisis. In other unrelated news, Gosina Tinkomo, a student who created the solution to Cape Town water crisis, mysteriously fell to his death from the fifth floor of a building. Mm. Gosina Tinkomo, who was the creator of Aqua Renew, months after his death, Mysteriously, a similar company emerged called Waterloo. When it's literally the same idea but different skin color. Hashtag Nkosinatinkom. A continuation of a long chain of black inventors being mysteriously unalived and then those ideas emerge. Fully funded and fully supported by the milk establishment. 
Now, I'm not telling you who to choose, but I am suggesting that you keep in mind that you're not just voting for yourself, you're voting for your people. Because this happens far too often. This is just not right. It's time to protect our own. We as the people need to stop this from happening again and bond together as one. Spread the word and make this worldwide news. Hashtag Nkosinat Nkomo. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nkosinat Nkomo. A UCT student comes up with a brilliant water purification invention. He names Aqua Renew. It is aimed to assist households in the drought-ravaged city of Cape Town. He suddenly dies under mysterious circumstances. Three months later, Retief Krich comes up with the same creation and calls it Waterloo. Waterloo was launched today. Mm-hmm. A long chain of black inventors. Now, as you can imagine, as I said, the clip itself is at about 62,000 views and 7,765 likes as of my phone. So a lot of people either knew or did not know, and they know now, that we as African peoples must learn to move silently sometimes. We must learn to keep an eye on our own people when they come up with new ideas and when they are pushing. Because, make no mistake, anything that they can and will do to steal from us, they will. That's how it has always been, unfortunately, and that's how it will be. Whether it's black culture, black music, black innovation, land, resources, you name it. Again and again, we find ourselves in the same predicament. And so we must remember these individuals and these characters never be quick to celebrate a milk person's idea where it can be easily researched and found it to have African origins. And some black family somewhere is suffering because they came through, they pulled a fast one, and boom, there you go. Capitalism. Profits. As such, family, keep this story in mind and others like it. Because, as I've said, right next to my channel, the purpose of it, where we discuss primarily Pan-African narratives, I, too, focus heavily on tech. I mean, that's the primary reason of raising funds through my channel and my website and my TikToks and all that. I spend my money on these things on the side. And right now, I'm not on the level of being able to do things like this man could. But one day is one day. And you must keep an eye on how them folks move so as to predict their behaviors, where they stand to be challenged by a black innovator. Let me know what you think of the story in the comments below, brothers and sisters. I'm your host, Ramudisa the High King. Stay royal, stay innovative, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.